opening up government from broad perspectives, from the policy point of view and from the technology point of view. Our panelists are going to be speaking to both the barriers that they're running into in openness and also the opportunity spaces they see it. So let me go ahead and introduce our panelists. First, Mr. Wayne Moses Burke, who is the Executive Director of the Open Forum Foundation, which is a DC-based nonprofit that he founded to improve citizen involvement in government. Welcome, Wayne. <laughs> Next, Mr. Joel Gurin, who is the Executive Director of the Orgpedia Project at New York Law School, which is a project designed to increase organizational transparency for both for-profit and nonprofit corporations. He's also the former chair of the White House Task Force on Smart Disclosure. Welcome, Joel. <laughs> Ms. Samia Melham is the lead ICT specialist for the Transform Transformation Agenda in the ICT unit of the World Bank, and she chairs the e-development community of practice. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. Dr. Sashi Pillay is the Chief Technology Officer for Information Technology at NASA, with responsibility for NASA's open government activities, among various other efforts. Welcome, Dr. Pillay. And Ms. Maria Isabel Mejia is an advisor to the Minister of Information and Communications Technologies in Colombia. She's been designated as a Deputy Minister of Information Technology which is a position she, in, from which she will play the role of Columbia's Chief Information Officer. Welcome, Maria. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Ms. Barbara Ugaldi. It leads the OECD e-government project within the Division for Public Sector Reform at the Public Governance and Territorial Development Directorate. So we have a very broad set of perspectives here today. I'm very much looking forward to our panel. I wanted to start first by offering a few remarks about uh, some of our more recent activities at the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. Uh, Chris Bean sends his regards and his apologies for not being here today. We, we had a schedule mix up and, and I'm so excited to get to be here and join you this morning. One of the things he asked me to highlight is the recent launch of the Open Government Platform. This is a platform that aims to promote government transparency and citizen engagement on a global scale. And it's an initiative founded by the governments of India and the United States to make open government data, documents, tools, processes publicly available through a freely available open source online platform. This platform, as I mentioned, is freely available to other governments as it becomes more widely adopted we hope that it will allow developers and civil society groups to use open government data to create innovative applications that help citizens and governments work together. So for us, uh, within the Office of Science and Technology Policy team, open data is a significant theme. It's an area where we're spending a lot of time and effort. Some of you were able to hear yesterday from Jean Holm, who's been an amazing evangelist and advocate of open data uh, for the US government. We believe this is important because we need to bring government to citizens instead of citizens to government. And we also, and this is where my work in open innovation comes in, believe that we need to enable entrepreneurs and innovators to build services because we know that they can do so better and faster than government can. So, uh, I won't define open data for you. I know that some of our panelists will speak to that. Uh, but we are thinking more broadly than simply open machine readable government data to include making sensitive data more broadly available to a wider pool of qualified audiences. And we are also very much focused on smart disclosure, which I know you'll hear from, from some of our panelists, including Joel. Uh, and efforts like Blue Button and Green Button to make personal data, like personal health data and personal energy use data, available to the consumer and dealing with all of the various implications that that involves in terms of privacy as well as access from the perspective of industry.